rich pins. This is something very unique to Pinterest, but Pinterest has something called rich pins, which are a type of organic pin that automatically syncs information from your website to your pins. Now, not every pin is a rich pin, but you can identify rich pins by the extra information above and below the image when you click into the pin. And I'm going to show you some examples, but if you have the type of content that would be appropriate for a rich pin, then you definitely want to go through this process because rich pins can help your pins stand out in search results and make them more likely to be clicked upon. Pinterest describes four types of rich pins. Apps, articles, products, and recipes. Articles are what we would call normal blog posts. Where these rich pins are really powerful is if you have a product like an e-commerce product that has a price tag or if you're a food blogger with recipes. It shows you how to set up, and I'll put this link in the description, but it's developers.pinterest.com. You want to add metadata to your content, and I'm sure that with Shopify or with certain WordPress themes, they're already developed in a way that make it easy for you to do this as well. But basically, once you add the metadata, and it's going to depend on what you choose. So for instance, if I am just an article, like for my blog, it's going to tell me what are the things that I need to add, what is the code that I need to add to my website. And it's going to give you a different answer for each one of these. Once you have it going, and this is for the article pins, once you have it going, and there might be WordPress plugins that can help with this as well. This is one of my blog posts. We go and cut and paste the URL. There is a rich pins validator. So if you're ever in doubt as to whether your website, you've already claimed it, maybe your theme already has rich pins enabled by default, you can go to the validator and it says, congratulations, your rich pins are approved and on Pinterest. You'll want to make sure that you go through the process. Now, I want to show you two different examples of rich pins so that you see how powerful they are. This is an example of a Pinterest search page. I looked for loaded tater tot skewer recipes. I'm just going to go to this one. And you'll see here that we are able to see the ratings, how long this recipe takes to cook, and how many servings, as well as the ingredients. Now, if we actually go to this website, you'll notice that we have the image that we just saw there with a blog post and the recipe further down. But if we were to pin this, it is automatically grab that information and pin it just like you see here in a very, very visually attractive way. You may not get more clicks, but once people click through here, you're going to get more clicks back to the website because they're able to preview more of your content, if that makes sense. Another example, and I think a more powerful example, that was a recipe example. The more powerful example is if you have a product. So this is an example of a search for cosmetics. And I go around here and I click on a pin. Now, when I click on a pin here, I might see something like this. It actually tells me the price, the ratings, free shipping, and where I can buy it. This is really, really powerful, as you can imagine. Now, we didn't see it here, but if I go back here and press shop, this is where I can see all the prices immediately in the feed. So with recipes, I couldn't see this, but with things that have a price tag that I can buy from an e-commerce store, you will actually be qualifying for this. And obviously, if someone clicks through anyway, they will see it. So these are both examples of rich pins, recipes, products that you sell over e-commerce. These are the two no-brainer things that you should be doing. But even at a minimum, you can add the article tag like I did here. And when this is shared on Pinterest, it will probably include the title, some minimal things. But either way, it is giving Pinterest access to more information, which helps them index your content and serve it up to more people. So this is something that you definitely, definitely want to do.